What if I told you a portfolio model driven by AI didn't just forecast economic shifts, it adapted to them, outperformed traditional strategies, and returned over plus 213% in backtests? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we unpack one of the most innovative asset allocation models I've seen in recent research. It blends economic regime detection, explainable AI, and dynamic portfolio construction in a way that could change how you think about investing. And yes, this is a companion video to our newly released podcast, The Market Has Moods. This AI investment model returned plus 213%. Stay with us until the end, because we'll cover what worked, what failed, and what this model tells us about the future of AI in asset management. Chapter 1. The Core Problem in Asset Allocation Traditional asset allocation models like Markowitz's mean variance optimization are powerful in theory, but unstable in practice. Their outputs swing wildly with small changes in expected returns. The paper we're covering today proposes a solution. Use explainable AI to classify market regimes and inform a black litterman portfolio model. The result? Dynamic weights that shift as market sentiment and macro conditions evolve, providing more stable and interpretable asset allocation. But for this to work, the AI must first know what kind of market we're in. That's where regime classification comes in. Chapter 2. Detecting Market Regimes with Hierarchical Clustering The model uses hierarchical clustering to identify four distinct economic regimes. The key? It combines both macro indicators, like inflation, PMI, and bond yields, and short-term technical signals, like momentum and RSI from equity indexes. This dual input makes the regime detection both responsive and robust. And because it adapts over time, the model can detect unusual environments, think 2015 to 2016 China's market turmoil, that traditional frameworks like the investment clock might miss. Speaking of traditional methods, how does this AI regime detection stack up against the classics? Chapter 3. Why this beats the investment clock. The investment clock model is elegant, but static. It divides the cycle into four neat phases, yet it lacks nuance, omits key asset types, and can't cope with abnormal markets. By contrast, this AI approach captures shifts in investor mood and policy shocks, and even pinpoints transitions between regimes with greater precision. It's like switching from a sundial to a smartwatch. So how do these regimes actually influence the portfolio? Enter the Black Litterman model. Chapter 4. Black Litterman Supercharged The Black Litterman model usually blends equilibrium returns with investor views. Here the twist is that the views come from the regime clusters. Each regime has its own set of return expectations and covariances. This transforms BL from a static blend into a live system. As the market changes, so do the inputs, and so does your portfolio. But there was still one big issue, over-concentration. The solution? A clever rotation of objectives. Chapter 5. Avoiding over-concentration with objective rotation. Sometimes, optimizing for sharp or minimizing variance leads to portfolios dominated by bonds. To avoid that, this model rotates its optimization goal. If volatility spikes and stocks break upward trends, the model switches to maximizing returns under a risk cap. It's a trigger-based approach that lets you embrace risk when the conditions are right. It's both systematic and intuitive. But what does this all mean in real market conditions? Let's talk performance. Chapter 6. The results, plus 213% return, low drawdown. Backtested from August 2010 to May 2020, this AI-driven strategy delivered an annual return of 22.53%, with a sharp ratio of 1.06 and max drawdown of just 8.26%. That's not a fluke. It outperformed equal-weighted, max-sharp, and risk-constrained return models. It captured upside and protected downside like a dream. And what about those trendy techniques like LSTM and SVM? Were they part of the solution? Chapter 7. Why SVM and LSTM didn't make the cut? The researchers tested SVMs and LSTMs for forecasting returns, but neither delivered consistent accuracy. SVM lacked precision, 
while LSTM couldn't handle the low-frequency, noisy financial data. In the end, explainable clustering and dynamic black Litterman inputs proved far more reliable. So what makes this model truly stand out? It's not just the performance, it's the transparency. Chapter 8, Explainable AI for Better Portfolio Decisions. This isn't a black box. The clustering model provides interpretable signals through macro variables and market sentiment. It lets you see which regime you're in and why. That builds trust. You're not just following signals, you understand them. And that's why this model could mark a turning point for AI adoption in institutional investing. AI isn't replacing portfolio managers, it's empowering them. If this explainer gave you new ideas, helped you see what's next, or inspired you to explore further, then give it a like, share it with your team, and hit subscribe. And don't forget to listen to the full podcast episode. The market has moods. This AI investment model returned plus 213%, now streaming on Deep Dive. Because in today's markets, understanding mood swings isn't just helpful, it's alpha.